Hey guys, hope you all having a great week leading up to the holidays. Um, I wanted to come on and show you a couple of things that I picked up on Amazon. <clears throat> now, I've been wanting to get a new pen holder or something to hold my pens in my bags because lately I've just been clipping them on to a pocket because you got to have pens nowadays or I like to have my own because you got to, you know, you may have to sign something and I don't want to be using other people's pens right now. I just don't. So I wanted to find a slim pen case or pencil case, but I've been using one. So this is the one that I had before. Um, and it's not very big, it's cute pattern. I picked it up like it Bell's Outlet, I think. And it holds a lot of pens, but um, it's kind of it's kind of big for some of the bags that I would use it in because I'm a medium, small to medium kind of bag girl. And it just takes up a lot of space to me in some of the smaller bags. So I went on Amazon and searched for some pen holders and I found this brand. Um, Lundo, I guess that's how you pronounce it. And they had two, two types. So I picked up one of each. Okay. And this is the first one that I picked up. They are both leather. And this one is in the camel color. Now, I don't know. Um, they just have this on there. If you can see that, I don't know. There's not a serial number or a name. It's just says number 16. But um, you type them in on Amazon. You can find them. And it just came with this little card in the packaging that says, thank you for choosing a natural leather product. And that the product is high quality natural leather. And each product has its own irregularities in its texture, color, and structure. So it's a real leather product and it came with this little tag. I don't know why, <laughs> I don't know what you would hang it on. Maybe if you have your own little um, thing to hang it on, you can use it. But I just thought it was really neat. Um, I love how it looks like distressed leather a little bit and it's got hooks on the back as well. So you can pop it off and slide pins in that way. Or you can see pop the top off and put them in that way. So you can see the little hooks, but you can use it for your glasses as well. Like here are my glasses and put them in there and it won't necessarily be on the hooks. So you can use it as a glasses case. Let's make sure it does close. It's not the easiest closure. Ooh, uh -oh. <laughs> well, this is not the easiest closure, is it? Not with the glasses in there. I don't know. It's not the easiest closure. Let's see. Huh. So let's see if it'll be better from the end. Yeah, I think that'll work better. So, I don't know. I don't know if I would use it for glasses. That's not the purpose I bought it for. You could, and maybe the closure just needs to be broken in a little better because it is real leather, but your glasses can fit in it. But I'm going to be using it for pens. So, you know, there's a few pens in there, and there's still plenty of space in there. It's raw leather. So, yeah, once you just use it for pens, it pops on real easy. And it's pretty flat, so when you compare it to what I was using before, um, there's a big difference. So I think it'll work well in smaller bags. So the other one that I picked up is by the same company. Um, there's the 
barcode. It says made in Turkey. This one doesn't have a number. But it is a pebble leather one. And I picked up purple. Now they have these in different colors. They had pink, they had black, they had a saddle brown. Um, and I'll probably, I may go back and get another color. But it also comes with the card on the inside, which talks about it being a leather product. Um, some type of lifestyle camera accessories card. And also another little leather tag. So when you zip this one open, it has also got the raw leather on the inside. It's not really thick, but it feels like good quality. Not as good as this, but it still feels pretty good. It's just different type of leather. This is pebbled leather. So you can also fit some pins. Well, let's see, how about glasses? Glasses will work in this one a lot easier. Um, so glasses will work in that one as well. And you can throw in a few pins in there as well. So, and still plenty, plenty of pins. So if you are a journaler or you work with a planner, you can probably put your little markers in there, your Bible markers, journal markers, and still have a good space. So the bag that I'm carrying right now is, let's see, this coach bag right here, this little zip top. Um, small tote, it's a small size tote um, with a little zip top closure. So if you look in there and you want to put this in there, it slides in there really easy. It doesn't take up much space. Let's see, let's try it on one of these pockets. It fits, but it's not going to go in all the way because it's, it is long. It's not thick, it's very thin. So it's longer than that one. It's pretty thin. But it will slip down inside very easy. And if the pocket's deeper, it'll work just fine. So the one I had before, See, it takes up a, quite a bit of room. I might stick it over there like that, but it is a little bulky. So this one, same thing, it's not gonna zip close, but you can slide it over there or down on the side. There is a zipper pocket in here. You can slip it in as well. So it's a good size zipper pocket. You can slide it in. and it just not take up a lot of room in your bag, but still protect it. Because honestly, throwing those pins in your, you know, in your little pocket is playing Russian roulette with your bag. So again, it'll slip back there easy. It doesn't do any more to the bag than it's gonna be done. That's even better. So, yeah. So, I think I'm going to enjoy these. And I may get another color in this color. I'm not sure about this one. This one was a little bit of a challenge to open up, but I still really love the way it looks. So, I'm going to use them for a while and see which one works better. And then I'll, maybe I'll add some more in. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. And again, it's the Londo brand, if you're interested in those. All right, thank you for watching.